Shalom Chavrim, I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live and uh, going to be getting back in the saddle deep into our research uh, starting tomorrow. Uh, but one thing I wanted to mention is the situation that's going on with the Golan uh, over in Israel. That is something that uh, we know that uh, Lindsey Graham had said he was going to push the White House in order to uh, finally say that the Golan belongs to Israel and uh, to make that stand. And of course, President Trump, he did exactly that. He has made good on Lindsey Graham's uh, promise to make the Golan a part of Israel. And for me, it's been kind of a mixed emotion. And uh, I really had to do some very serious biblical studies because I know that the God of Israel, um, has always stated through his prophet Moses that we were not allowed to move our stake of our different ancestral tribes. We're not allowed to take someone else's land, in other words. And uh, just recently, as you guys know, I did a video because it was shocking to me to find out that the prophet Isaiah, as well as Matthew, who quotes him uh, when he writes about Yeshua in uh, the time when Yeshua was up in the area, in, in, in the tribal lands of uh, Naphtali and that land there east of the Jordan River around the Golan uh, called the Golan the Galilee area according to Isaiah and according to Matthew quoting Isaiah this land belonged to the Gentiles and which would be the Syrians which would make sense in fact this is also reason why we hear about that um, the fame all around Galilee uh, spread about Yeshua and the Syrians came to him and they were everyone healed uh, so for me I look at the biblical aspect of when we're looking at land just like uh, you know the Prime Minister Netanyahu claiming that Israel is a Jewish only state is in defilement and def uh, uh, of the very sacred writings of the Prophet Moses this land is divided amongst 12 tribes. And um, I'm really, you know, some of the research that me and Yon are doing are really starting to find out some very disturbing aspects when it comes to the Pharisaic uh, roots. And we're gonna be revealing those things in the very near future more and more uh, as we dig deeper and, and discover more. But uh, getting back to the Golan, John Bolton says that he would rather Israel have this and control this than Syria, uh, as he calls it, the regimes of Syria or Iran, uh, because of the atrocities that Assad, President Assad, has committed. Well, I have to agree with Daniel McAdams when it comes to this issue, because uh, if uh, Assad has committed any atrocities, it's definitely no worse than what the United States has done or Israel arming these jihadists who have murdered the Christians over in Syria. Not to mention, you have to remember in, in Gilad, this is where the covenant was made between Laban and Jacob, which is Israel, the father of all 12 tribes. They made that heap of stones that we were not to pass over and they were not to pass over. Well, that just happens to be just south of the Golan. So, you know, all this talk about the Golan uh, saying that it belongs to Israel, in reality, if we want to think it from a biblical uh, aspect, it doesn't. And um, that's just the truth of it. Now, up and handing it back over to Syria, I can't say that that's going to be the right thing to do. But maybe it would be the right thing to do. I, I don't know. I, I realize uh, at this point... They're looking at more for national security. They're looking for a buffer zone. And of course, in the Golan, it is loaded with mines everywhere. So it's not an easy place to inhabit uh, to begin with. So, but anyway, that's my two cents on this. And you know, hey, I like to stick with the word of God, not just what we think politically. And um, especially with all the oil that's being discovered in the Golan, that's one reason why too, Israel and the United States wants to make sure that Israel keeps the Golan um, and maybe even if Israel did keep it, I would say this much here. The profits from the oil 
should go to the Syrian people then, uh, or it should be divided amongst them, because in actuality, it's not our land, and we have no right to claim something that doesn't belong to Israel. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom and a world of ain't shalom. Till we talk again tomorrow.